You know, for most of us, just stepping outside in the morning to get the paper is going to tell us all we need to know about the weather. But what if you want to know more than just whether it's cloudy or sunny or whether it's warm or cold? Have we got a deal for you. It's a solar-powered wireless weather station, and it'll give you all the information that the pros have without you even having to turn on the radio or TV. And it's going to be easy to install, and I'll show you how. Now our system is composed of two components. This is the part that goes outside. As you can see on the front here, here are our solar panels that power the thing. Inside here, we got a lot going on. These electronics in here will sort through all of the data that the sensor picks up and send it wirelessly inside the house to our console. And in there, we can read exactly what's going on. Temperature, wind speed, wind chill, rainfall, barometric pressure, relative humidity, dew point, everything you ever wanted to know. Now our first step is to put the anemometer or wind gauge in place. Now it's real easy to install this because we get a bolt with the kit. It goes right through the hole there. We probably will do well to just screw it on in there. We've got a nut that goes on the other side as well as a washer. Okay, that's good and tight. Now the wind cup unit just slides in place. It fits on this little tip here. You just push it up in place. Now this little Allen wrench will tighten down the set screw so that it's going to be in place. You want to get it down tight enough, but not so tight that it won't turn. Now let's see what happens. Hey, looking good. Now we're going to install our sensor outside here. And we're going to use this mounting tube and attach it to this post right here. Just like in the real estate game, the three most important things are location, location, location. You see, the sensor can send its data line of sight. So if it's not impaired in any way, it'll go up to 400 feet. But if you've got a tree or a wall in the way, then it's going to cut way down on the amount of transmission. Now what we're going to do is use the hardware that they gave us here, uh, this little saddle piece and some pretty good sized lag screws. I've already pre-drilled some holes here, so we'll just run these on in, but we don't want to run them in all the way. Now the reason we didn't tighten the hardware down is because it makes it easier to slide this tube in there. Now we can just go on and put that in place and then add another one down at the bottom and we got it made. Now the unit just slides in place in the tube we just mounted. Remember now, this is our solar panel and it needs to be facing south because in the northern hemisphere, that's where it's going to get the maximum amount of sunshine, which means it'll keep our unit powered up better. And as we turn it around, we also want to make sure that the horizontal arm of the anemometer is facing south because the unit is calibrated to pick up the wind speed uh, in that direction. Well, now that we have our sensor aimed in the right direction, we want to lock it down with a shoe bolt. There we go. Now this container is our rain collector. The water falls in and then it goes through this little bitty hole down there in the bottom and it falls down on these buckets down here which alternate back and forth and give us a very accurate reading. Now you're probably wondering what happens if you've got some airborne debris that's floating around. Wouldn't it clog up the rain gauge? That's why they have this little bitty strainer right here so that we can put it down in the bottom, cover the hole and no debris gets in to foul up our rain gauge. Well, we got everything all hooked up. You know, normally you'd put the console inside the house, but the weather is so pretty today, I thought it'd be nice to stay out here. Let's take a look and see what kind of readings our weather center is giving us. Well, I see that our temperature is 74 degrees. The wind is moving around out there at about nine miles per hour. That means the wind chill factor would have a little bit of effect on our temperature. We did pour some water in the rain gauge, and let's see, yes, it does register, eight one hundredths of an inch. The barometric pressure 29.65 and rising. The relative humidity 32% and the dew point 50 degrees. Now stay tuned for our five day forecast coming up right now. Boy, this is nifty. I love it. Now with the solar powered wireless weather center, you can learn to predict your own weather. You also might be able to learn when bad weather is coming and it might let you protect your house. It costs about a thousand bucks. However, 
If you're a weather junkie, you got to have one. If you'd like more information, why don't you contact us on the internet? It's michaelholligan.com.